You're really starting to get on my nerves! Look. You were nicer in Rayman 2. Surprise! The next video I had planned is taking too long. So here's a little something to fill the void until I can get my act together. Recently, I watched the J-Wits videos about trying to play Mario and Sonic games without getting a single coin or ring respectively. I wondered what other franchises that would best apply to, and after some small research, I settled on Rayman. Plus, it's been ages since I talked about Rayman on this channel. Those videos about Rayman 2 even predated the Artisan name, so it'll be fun to shed some light on this beloved and personal favorite series again. Thus, I have gathered together 8 Rayman games, and I'm going to attempt to play them without collecting any looms. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Rayman 1 had teens, not looms, and Rayman 3, well, that's a different beast altogether. To address this claim, let's imagine this title. If I get a teen, loom, red loom-like pickup, teen seat, mask, laser detergent, skull coin, headache, or electune in any Rayman game, the video ends. Oh, too long, Clanky, too long! This challenge is contextual, of course, but for ease and general applicability, I chose looms for the title. The games will be shown one at a time because of their small number, and I'm not playing the games in order. I chose the order based on which I found funnier. The only practice I had was regular playthroughs to make sure the games actually worked right. So here are our contenders. Rayman, Rayman 2 The Great Escape, Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, Rayman 3 for the GBA, Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge, Rayman Origins, Rayman Legends, and Rayman Adventures. I'm going to apologize now for the Rayman 1 gameplay's choppiness. I had to install a new emulator to run my PlayStation copy because my old reliables decided to crap out on this particular game, and I didn't want to have to play the mobile port. As well, I was going to include Rayman Jungle Run and Fiesta Run as part of this video, but unfortunately, they don't run on modern iOS anymore. I set some ground rules for myself. For one thing, I have to play the first level the game gives me. If I can clear it, I can change which level I play next if possible, but I cannot close out of the first level the game puts me in. Second, I am allowed to die. The only thing that can end a run is the collection of a pickup. Thirdly, no retakes. Every clip you're about to see is done in one take with no retries. Fourthly, and this counts only for the games I'm emulating, no save states. That will make each run as fair and hopefully funny as possible. I'll also keep a timer of each game run in the corner. With all that said, let's begin. Boy, well, this is just all sorts of levels of nostalgia here. Apparently, the magician's voice is different depending on which region you play the game. Of course, this is the American version. He sounds like a hi, folks, kind of high-pitched guy in the European version. Nope, moving on. Okay, so hopefully this works. The first time I ran this game in this emulator, it actually crashed. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Hey, it didn't crash. Not that I actually expect to get to a place where I can use the fist attack. We'll see. We shall see. And so will Mr. Dark with his binoculars. You know, little known fact, I actually wanted to dedicate an entire marathon to the Rayman games. Like, I wanted to cover Rayman 1, 2, 3, Origins, and Legends. All in, like, one series of videos. But, uh... Yeah, that didn't entirely work out. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, uh, can I, can I just, uh, no. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Rayman 3 on GBA is also another game that I have not touched in ages. Yep, there's Andre. At least I think that's Andre. But all the black looms look similar anyway. All right, that, yeah, that's probably Andre. Yes, we're going to be doing this in English because... I don't speak Francais or Espanol. Believe me, I've tried, but I can't. Globox? Globox? Now, where'd he get to? Uh, since he swallowed the dark loom, he can't stay put. There's something wrong with him. I better find him before he goes and does something stupid. You mean like in basically every game? Oh, that's right. I forgot that for some reason the robot pirates are back. This just screams a bunch of guts. Okay. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Oh, okay, just to climb in the wall. Oh, yeah, the GPA's low resolution makes things very difficult. Ah, wait, no! Okay, Rayman, Hoodlum's Revenge, 2005 by Ubisoft. One of the first Rayman games to feature the new Ubisoft logo. Oh, once again, we get the choice of English, Espanol, or Francais. All right, I gotta nitpick this. 
Is it one hoodlum that's taking revenge on Rayman or all of them? Because the placement of the apostrophe really depends on that. It's always a lazy morning when these games start, like literally. Most Rayman games start with Rayman sleeping. Yeah, you're gonna remember a time when there was an evil entity in your stomach. Ugh, all this sleeping is making me hungry. These pretzels are making me thirsty. You know, this exact thing happened last game too, so... Rayman, you gotta figure out how better to protect Globox, because he keeps disappearing. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're sneaking past looms. Ha <laughs> ha Can't grab ledges. Can't grab ledges. Alright. Those yellow things are looms. Follow them and you'll always find your way. Yeah, I know that. I've done this before. Okay. Since looms are the main collectible here. And gems only add to the score. Then... Gems count. You can jump across these gaps by pressing A. Then how did I jump up there? Did I just magically will myself onto these platforms, huh? Like, no! Rayman 3, what an interesting game. You know, I didn't originally have the PC version. I actually first got this game on the GameCube. Well, to play it on my Wii, of course. And then I got rid of my Wii. The PC version transcends all space and time because Microsoft loves doing backwards compatibility, except when they don't. <laughs> and TBDM. <laughs> Hooray, an opening cutscene! Goodbye. Wait. Oh, there it goes. Oh, jeez. Alright. Steer toward the red lums. Uh-oh, those are off limits. Oh, is Murphy gonna loop us through the level until we collect those looms? I hope not, because... I want to actually see more of the game. Oh, no, he is, isn't he? Nice going, Ubisoft. Mandatory first stage where you have to collect the looms in order to progress. Ugh, what are you doing to me, man? Alright. Da 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 da. <laughs> Alright, here we go. PC version of Rayman Legends. I actually own two copies of this game one on the Wii U and one on the PC. Uh, took advantage of a free Uplay giveaway. Well, I guess it's now called Ubisoft Connect, but. Whatever, and I'm deciding to play the PC version, actually, because I get control of Rayman during the Murphy sections and don't need a second player. Yes, let's send Murphy once more to wake up our friends who have been sleeping for, jeez, longer than any human's ever been alive, I'll say that much. And, yeah, here we are in the opening level, all the teensies in trouble. That's the name of the stage. And since saving teensies usually gives looms, we're not going to be saving any teensies either. <laughs> yeah, because in the Rayman world, that's the only way to wake someone up. Slap them silly. I have not properly played Rayman Legends in a long time, so I forget just how the system works. I do know that you actually start with all of Rayman's abilities. Uh, hitting enemies will give looms like before. All right, we're at the first Murphy segment. And on the Wii U, you play as Murphy in single player, and then uh, the computer controls the player character. So the computer player would try to get all the looms and such, and oh, this is gonna be interesting. <sighs> Saving teensies gives you looms. Ah, what am I supposed to do here? All right. Um, well, I definitely can't do that. Those are looms down there, and defeating that enemy will give me looms, so... Hang on. Hang on. Maybe if I... Oh. Alright, that jump's not big enough, but... Hey! Look at that. Oh, no. I have to tickle the enemy, but I can't go in the door until I defeat him. Wait, where'd I get looms from? And I... All right, next we're off to Rayman Adventures. I'm gonna apologize now because uh, I know I said that these these clips weren't in any particular order, but uh, I'm recording this one last because it was on my iPhone. And between recording the rest of the games and Recording this one, I caught a cold, so don't worry. For the rest of the video, I sound considerably better. 
Choose my hero. Well, of course we'd choose Rayman. <laughs> of course, that... That's the only way to start a Rayman game. Alright, let's see. Hopefully there aren't any looms in this level. Maybe I can actually... <laughs> finish the level during this video. I swear, if collecting this Incrediball gives me looms, I'm gonna be really upset. I can sense our sacred tree is dying. Come with me and together we'll breathe, breathe new life into the grove. Okay, sure, whatever. Does this even count as a level? You know what, yeah, that's gonna count as a level. Hey, we finished the level! Thanks for your help, Hero, but my friends and family are still in need of rescuing. Think you can bring them all home? Aren't there supposed to be like 300 or so Incrediballs? Look at the egg trapped in that cage in the distance. We'll need to make our way there before we can break it open. Okay. I don't know why I'm reading off all of this dialogue considering I'm sick. So, uh-oh. Yep. <clears throat> We're boned. In this level, you're required to collect looms. Alright. And the controls, man. Alright, tap a seeker. Go! Get a running start to try to- Ugh! Ugh! Huh, no! Ah, it's finally time to play Rayman Origins. My favorite game in the series. You know, Rayman Origins, I got this game Christmas of 2011. Just a month after it came out. And, uh, yeah, it was the game I played the most on our PlayStation 3. So, pretty darn cool. I always love this opening cutscene, mostly because of just how smooth it is on actual consoles. The PC version just uses a video playback. Well, this probably is video playback too, but it runs at 60 frames per second. Why doesn't the PC version do that? I'm sorry, I just, I just, I just love the console versions more. And yeah, I had the PS3 version growing up. Yeah, that's how I'd respond to that, too. You want some skull with your fruit? Oh, jeez, you don't need to make a scene about it. Just a question. <laughs> oh no, we're trapped. How are we ever gonna get out? Well, that was easy. How are we gonna save the Bubble Dreamer? Oh, that was easy. Right, so Rayman Origins basically locks you into a linear progression system. You have to play this level first. So here we are, and you can't even punch. All right, yep, there's Batilla the Fairy, her grand return from the first Rayman game. Okay, whoa, whoa. All right, basically in Origins and Legends after this, anything that has bubbles on it is going to have looms in it. You also get looms from hitting enemies. So, oh, jeez. All right, uh, 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 whew. Ah, uh. okay, okay, we're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. Okay, okay. Uh. Actually making progress, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good, that's not good. Okay, uh, 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 okay. Wow, we actually made it to the scene where we freed Batilla the Fairy without collecting a loom. That's impressive. I actually didn't think I would get this far. The only problem is attacking things is going to end up getting me looms. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do the teeth of this giant monster contain looms? I don't remember. Uh-oh. All right, uh, uh, and, there, and there's no other way out. Well, I wondered if this was a good idea and I'm ready for my brain to tell me I told you so. Here goes nothing. Oh, well, compared to the other entries, we actually get a few more options for language. We get English, we get Francais, we get Espanol, and you get Italiano and Deutsch. Deutsch. I, I don't know how to say that. All right, new game. A. Can we make a period here? Uh-oh. No, we can't. Uh, all right, fine. R. Tis. A? Ubisoft presents. 
a game. Okay, new clause to the rules. Any looms given to characters out of your control, like during a cutscene, uh, those are fine. Because all those looms do are uh, give Rayman new powers anyway. Like the one that uh, Glowbox is about to give Rayman here, it, it just gives him the ability to shoot orbs out of his hands. Why they didn't stick to just throwing punches like Rayman 1 and later Rayman 3? I have no idea. But, I mean, Rayman 2 is considered one of the best games ever made. I personally think it's a bit overrated, but hey, I'm not going to deny its quality. Rayman 2 is a lot of fun. <gasps> Lee the Fairy? Yeah, what, are there any other Lees in the world? Of course it's Lee the Fairy. Let's go see Lee. She'll give me all my powers back. <laughs> you wish. Okay. Here we go. Just... Wait a second. Uh, I just... No! Oh!